Big up yourself. <laughs>so much for returning back to my channel if you are returning and if you are new thank you for clicking on this video you guys we need to talk about Latoya and her new boo Von Ray and this vlog that they just recently dropped the kids meet for the first time it is just wild and I'm just like wow it's crazy because I've watched them like a lot of you I've watched them for years you know when she's she was doing pranks like even before she met Adam when she was doing pranks and then it's just crazy to see someone's life evolve actually and someone's life change as well and it's just crazy how when you think about it like how long people have literally been doing this YouTube thing but anyways that was just a little side note guys there's a lot to talk about let me jump right into the video if you are new Feel free to hit the subscribe button, it's all good vibes. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button. It really, really does make a big difference. If you guys have been following Latoya and Von, you know that they already have a new channel together. They have a new Instagram page together. They are now doing this thing. And I think it's pretty much official now that they are together. Forget that whole bestie situation. They've kissed online. Everybody has seen it. And it is what it is. We all know. Cool. That's not even a problem because it's kind of like you've done with a divorce. Like, even when she did the interview, she even said, or oh, the Q&A, should I say. She even said herself that, you know, a lot of people were criticizing her moving on. And it's like she'd been done with a divorce. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, with the marriage, she's... And the thing, that's the thing with marriage. Like, I don't know what it's like for men, but let me speak for women. Like, sometimes when women are done, like, they could still be in something, but they are detached. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know, maybe is it for men, like, when they're done... Like, you feel that detachment straight away. But for females, like, they could be in it. And their heart is already away. Like, they have detached themselves. So, that's no surprising to me that they're still separating and still going through a divorce. And she's done, moved on. Because the separation does not happen when you sign the papers. That divorce papers. The separation could have happened years back. Do you get what I mean? Like, you could have distanced yourself. But, of, of course, legally, you're still binding together. Legally, you're still... Um, a married woman or a married man however she done move on from Adam so that's fine that's cool I don't know if it's just me like just looking too much into it obviously her and Von have got this new channel now and they've just released a video the kids meeting together Von has a son and of course Latoya has all of her three kids I just feel like it's too early like I'm just gonna say it straight out there I feel like you're just getting to know the guy I mean we don't really know exactly the details of when you just met but even still like you've only just met the guy like you've got three kids who are still young you the divorce is not even yet finalized properly Adam is still in your life so so and there hasn't really been that detachment like there's still so much attached like it's become so messy and then on top of the mess that you've even created yourself by doing this fake interview you're now going to add on top of that by making your kids meet like why like i feel like she's trying to replicate something that she's lost within the separation with adam which is the business side of things where you know they became a family channel that was boosting that was bringing in the money that was working people loved that and perhaps she got hit with the disappointing of being a statistic, another black family broken down. And she's trying to really quickly cover that up. And she's trying to replicate that with Von, you know, introducing the kids, trying to play happy family. They're vlogging, they're dancing. And it's like, why? Why do you feel like you need to involve the kids? Like, why do you feel like you need to create another family channel? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. It would have been cool to just have Vaughn in and out of your channel, see how it goes for a while, and then, do you know what I mean? Then maybe later, when you know everything is proper settled down, create a new channel. But at this point, I kind of feel like, yep, this is all about money. 
this is definitely a business move because it just doesn't make sense to me and it's more painful because the kids are so innocent but they are being dragged into this and they are just filming because they've been brought into this celebrity lifestyle you know we all know Samia she's got her own business which Adam manages so they are used to the cameras they are used to this so to them this is kind of like another another business venture like then this is kind of like oh yeah we did this with mommy and daddy so we know what to do we know how to act in front of the camera like they are moving way too fast for my liking she is doing way too much way too soon she can have all the fun that she wants you know she can do whatever she wants but I just kind of feel like really bringing in the kids already what do you guys think about that Latoya she's always wanted five kids like from way way back in the days like she's that's always been her numbers and it's just kind of like maybe this is her kind of trying to fill that void or trying to create that fairy tale that she's always wanted because this is what it looks like it looks like this is her trying to create something forcefully that she wants to kind of soothe her broken pieces soothe her broken parts and that's what makes it really sad it was just too much you had his son talking about Latoya remarrying then becoming siblings and all of that stuff like it was just all too too packed like I don't know for me, it was just a little bit uncomfortable. It was just very conflicting. It felt a little bit cringing. And it was just kind of like, you guys are having fun. Yeah, you guys are making the money. But the kids, I don't know. How would Adam feel about this? Because I know he's very protective over his kids. She's spoken a lot about Adam trying to use a lot of things against her in court. Like, is she being careful enough? Like, that's the question. Like, is she even acting like she cares? You know, on the video, she was acting like she was scared. But it's like, the way you're moving, sis, you don't really seem like you're that scared. Like, you don't really seem like you're taking precautions at this rate. It's kind of like history is trying to repeat itself. Like, slow down. Like, have your fun, cool, whatever. Like, you and Adam are not together anymore. But I, I really do feel like she needs to slow down like honestly speaking it is what it is man this is just my uh, my thoughts and my opinion my little two pants what is yours drop it in the comment section thank you for tuning in and don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post